So now in recent videos, I used this Peltier cooler. Uh, I tried to get some temperature readings, but without a heat sink, the one side warms up a lot easier than the other side cools down. So I ordered these heat sinks. Uh, I got them now. These heat sinks came with thermal pads. And the thermal pads are twice as long as the heat sinks or the Peltier coolers. So I just decided I'm going to attach uh, two of these coolers and uh, put heat sinks on the warmer side. So now I'm going to test out the newer uh, thermoelectric cooler, the Peltier cooler. And you can see uh, the top right now, the side without the writing, appears to be the same temperature as everything around it. So now I'm going to have the bench power supply output about uh, 0.4 amps, 400 milliamps of current through the Peltier cooler. This is about the amount of current that was flowing through it in the earlier video I did. Now, uh, but this is the other uh, Peltier cooler, the newer one that I just took out of the packaging. And uh, as you can see already, you can see it show up. It's creating heat on the side without writing. That's why it's white. And then the uh, other side is uh, black. It's the cooler side. So we know this one works. This is the one that just came out of the package. So now these heat sinks, which are made out of aluminum, came with these thermal pads. So I didn't really notice that when I was buying it. I also bought thermal paste. But uh, since they came with the pads, I'm just going to use the pads. And so both sides of this thermal paste have a uh, plastic on it. They're, uh, they're sticky, the, uh, the thermal pad is. And so I think this side, I don't know if it matters which side goes to what really, but uh, this side's easier to peel off. So to begin with, I'm going to set the Peltier coolers on uh, this side since it'll be more difficult to get them on there than uh, the heat sinks. So now I'm going to try to get the uh, first one on about uh, square as I can. There we go. And now the second one. And again remember the uh, side without the writing was the side that was getting warmer. And the point of these heat sinks of course is to dissipate the heat from that the uh, component produces from current. And then uh, this side should get more cold with the heat dissipated. So now we have the pad attached to there. This side's sticky too, but it has this uh, clear plastic, which is uh, a lot harder to get off. So I'm not gonna film that. I'm just gonna get that taken off. And so finally, I got a good grip on this plastic and I would peel it off. It's much harder to get this off than uh, that other side. It's even pulling it off there now. We even ripped this stuff. Uh, so it looks like we're going to have two separate ones now anyways. So now we just stick the heat sinks right on there. And I'm setting it this way. I'll show you why when I put this one on to this one. This way if I got them close together there's uh, no flat edges like this where they might trap a little bit of heat. I got it uh, set this way so that uh, air can flow even if I have there we go, even if I have them right next to each other.